You can buy jars of the same jam in two sizes, 454 grams for £1.59 and 340 grams for £1.25. We often face this problem in the supermarket, which is the better value for money. So, what we're going to do, we're going to make £1.59 into 159 pence and 1.25 into 125 pence. So we must show our working. So, setting up like the ratio proportion idea, so we've got weight and then cost in pence. So we've got 454 grams is 159 pence. If I work out what one gram is, now I don't have to take one, it could be 10 if you wanted to. How do I go from 454 to 1 is I need to multiply by 1 over 454. If I've done it to that side of the ratio, I need to do it to the other side of the ratio as well. So I need to multiply by 150, 454. So I'm going to need to work out 159 times 1, 1 over 454, which is 159 over 454, which is 0 0.35 of a pence. So here I've got weight and cost in pence for the second one, same idea, 340, 125. Here I want to know what one gram weighs, so how do I go from 340 to 1, one I need to multiply by 1 over 340. Do the same to the other side, so it's 1 over 340. So I need to work out 125 times 1 over 340, which is 125 over 340 which is 0 0.36 pence. We're left with the conclusion here that one gram here costs 0 0.35 of pence, and here one gram costs 0 0.36 pence. So therefore this one is of the better value. Therefore the 454 gram jar is of the better value, which I think was A for the one that you had to choose.